Just over three years ago, President Obama signed into law Obamacare, the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. That means for me, a U.S. citizen and a dependent on my parents' insurance, I get coverage until I'm 26. However, this plan only works so long as I'm in the States. Here at McGill, I'm a Quebec resident, so I don't need the Blue Cross health insurance for international students. When I go to the McGill clinic, I need to pay for their services. That's fine. When I also go to the clinic, I need to bring either a provincial health card, the Blue Cross health insurance card, or I need to pay for the visit. Okay, so I go to the Quebec health insurance office, RAMQ, in order to apply for a health insurance card. But then I get denied again, and again, and again. What am I supposed to do? But many of the students take for granted the basic health care we received because it is so readily available to us. In the U.S., a huge base of private health care insurance is provided through employers. So through the Affordable Care Act, us students get health coverage through our parental guardian's employer health insurance program. In the case that our guardians are unemployed, a public health insurance program called Medicaid is available. In Canada, public health insurance is provided through the provincial governments. Funding comes from taxation so that care is provided free at the point of service. While there are some differences among the provinces for basic coverage, the Canada Health Care Act ensures that all provinces provide the same basic coverage or else lose funding from the federal government. This allows us students at our universities to access healthcare without much difficulty. As we graduate, we still need to find employment so that we can claim health insurance. The problem arises when, on the off chance, we do not get employed. Either way, it's still time for us students to start preparing for our futures, especially with regards to our future health.